All right, hi Leos, this is um, Leo Loves Tarot, formerly known as the Pretty Coach, and the Pretty Coach Oracle's here, coming with the monthly reading for April 2022. If it hasn't been made clear, most of the love readings here will always, I mean, excuse me, most of the readings here will always include love. So hopping right into this, I may have to pull some tarot cards, but for now, this message I'm getting very strong vibes for. So first, overall energy, I'm going to try to go fast. The child, which basically represents new beginnings, guys, okay? Um, fresh starts. It could be a new beginning, totally, like a totally new love interest um, coming into your life, um, new jobs, new everything, okay? Or it could be newness in the sense of renewal, okay? Uh, someone who you've already known or you yourself starting something else new or becoming a new person or a person who you're connected to becoming a new person, okay? A newer, better version of themselves. Moving on, I was asking spirit for the past, what would have been the recent past energy, the present, and the most likely outcome for the highest good. So here we go. What I got from the moon and the anchor card, because they came out together, there could have been an illusion of security, an illusion of stability. And I do feel like this could have been in a previous relationship. And I do feel like this relationship right here will have been, will have ended or will even have the illusion of ending as well. But what I feel more was there was an illusion of stability and security here in this relationship, okay? With the moon, um, that deals with the energy of illusion, things not being so clear, may not necessarily be fake or fraudulent, but you can't see everything clearly. And that can make for deceptive type energies or messages um, or not getting the whole story, okay? The anchor card is a card about stability and security. So it could be good, but in attachment with this, this is what makes me feel like it could have been an illusion of stability. So I'm going to move on. In the current energy for the month of April, okay, we get the goddess energy. So this is the feminine aspect or the woman in the connection with the house. Both of these came out together as well. Um, I saw 22 on the clock as I was saying this. I feel like the house talks about security and stability. It talks about safety, feeling secure. This could be literally owning real estate, buying a home, moving. This could also have more something, more so something to do with family, friends, your soul tribe, just being around people, even your romantic partner, being around those who make you feel at home. When I think about home, I'm thinking about security and feeling most like myself. And a goddess to me is a person who has embodied her energy, who bodies it and lives it, breathes it every day. And as a direct result of that, this is how this woman is illuminated, okay? From the inside out. This is the energy that a lot of us Leo women are gonna be in, hey, hey. I'm so excited. We'll go into this in a little bit more depth later. The cross is the most likely outcome for the highest good here. So the cross in this deck tends to talk about endings and it tends to talk about um, burdens as well. You know, just heavy burdens, things that were weighing down on us or, or that make us feel a little heavy or sad even. But most importantly, I got an ending. So there's going to be an ending that's happening, okay, with the cross energy that it may have been really hard for us to accept, okay? Um, I don't know. We'll look more into that in a moment, but let me get this from the booklet. So it says, if it's in love, you are experiencing disappointments or painful challenges within the union. And unfortunately, there is no happiness within this union anymore. Now, for some reason, I was feeling like this is not necessarily... Okay, This I'm going to do this in two ways. This could be that this right here is the ending of this past energy here. Okay, it's going to be a union that you may have been in previously, the one that was possibly giving the illusion of security and stability. That could be what's ending for this new stuff to come in. Okay, and it's ending for the highest good. It's time for it to come to an end, right? Or it could be that there is there may be an ending in the new connection that comes up, that challenges may arise later on after this beautiful energy happens and you guys could end after that new connection as well. I get more of the vibe of there is something that has to end before this newness comes in. 
And it's a burden to you guys. It's already, I get the vibe, it's already been weighing heavy on you. It's already been weighing heavy. So it's very possible that there could be two connections um, that are going on simultaneously in the month of April where you have to make a decision. And either way, it's hurtful. Either way, I'm getting, literally, I'm seeing Allie in the notebook and Noah and, you know, she's like, it's not that easy. It's not that, or it's not that simple. And it's not going to be simple because a lot of you guys, you're going to have a man who came into your life, you know, after maybe a terrible breakup. And it's very possible that this person was very beautiful to you, loving to you. There were challenges in that connection eventually as well. But they provided a sense of stability and security for you. And you guys could have even had a child together. It doesn't have to be the case. That could have just been the new beginning that started. And you want to make it work with this person. You, you wanted it to work because you probably thought that it was going to be a longer lasting connection. But it's not. And if there is a resurgence of an old love that comes in and they're new, or if there's totally a new love that is more in alignment with who you are that's coming in, it's going to be really, really hard for you to consider walking away from this person who was loving towards you in a very emotional and um, traumatic, I feel, state that you were in. And if it wasn't traumatic, it was just a very pivotal change in time in your life. This person came in, they loved you up in a way, you know, they helped to heal you. And now this new love is coming in that is more in alignment with who you are. You get to totally be your absolute awesome bomb ass self in it, right? And you could feel somewhat guilty for wanting to move on to this other connection that makes you feel most like yourself. I feel like this is where the cross energy comes in, but let's hold on. Let's get the tarot really quickly. thank you so much for these messages if anything is already resonating with you guys be sure to go ahead and hit the like button comment if you'd like to show you know share with me exactly how this is resonating with you and also if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe if you are the sign of leo hey y'all subscribe off of that but um mostly if the messages resonate with you and leo can be anywhere in your chart. doesn't just have to be your sun sign okay all right let's hop in Spirit, what is this child energy? What is the newness? Is it an actual child or is it more like a new connection? Show me more. So I meditated before this and I got a message for myself, guys. Ooh. And basically it is this energy of something new coming in. Someone new coming in. Look, I'm seeing the Knight of Swords. Guys, I'm shaking. The Knight of Swords, someone very determined from your past is coming in. Okay. Could have been considered an ex, a soulmate connection or someone just from your childhood or someone that you could have gone to school with empress energy this could also indicate an actual child pregnancy here for some of you guys this could have been a childhood dream you guys could have always wanted to have a child but empress energy is also about creating and um, creating a new life manifesting and stuff like that from yourself so hmm. i'm getting a heavy pregnancy vibe there though guys for real or a person rushing in because to them you are their empress, okay? Spirit, is there anything more before I move on to the next card? If nothing else comes out, I'm going to suggest that it is, all right? We have the star and Aquarius is connected to this reading or Capricorn, Taurus, and or Virgo. I feel like to this person, you could be wifey material, okay? You could be wifey material, guys. You are their wish fulfillment. I also feel as though your wishes are going to be made true to Leo woman or man for that matter, but I think it's a woman. You're going to be in a place of luxury. Like, you're going to have this home. You're going to have your car. It's going to be nice. It's going to be what you want. Lavishness. Your home is going to be beautiful. You're going to make it your own. You're going to get to decorate it. Make it smell nice. Make it look nice. Organize it the way that you want to. Okay? You're going to have access to finances. Even if they're not necessarily the finances that you bring into the union, this person is going to give the access to you. For some of you guys, you work hard. You got it yourself, okay? I'm not trying to say that anybody is just being handed anything, but I do want to say if you are a woman who are operating in your divine energy and, and this man does hand you over his wallet or his money or his assets and resources, don't, you know, don't feel bad about that or don't look down on that. Okay, moving on. Show me the moon and anchor energy spirit. Show me all of that. Queen of Cups. So this could be something about the dreams. Marriage energy here, guys. Oh, my God. So some of you guys... Um, you know, there's going to be a proposal coming 
it's very possible that there's a proposal coming or someone will propose to you and you're gonna have to think about it. The world card here, this could be um, achievement, this could be traveling, moving on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Karma here with the world card as well. So it's also very possible that in the past, recent past energy, now that I'm seeing these cards clarify, it's possible that, that the moon card could be about something that we don't see coming, you guys. Maybe intuitively we can feel it, but it's very possible that someone could be literally coming in to offer stability. This may not be necessarily the breakup right here. It could be that someone's coming in to offer stability and you don't know that you cannot see this at all coming. Show me the goddess energy and that will, goddess energy, we get the... The three of swords in reverse. So I feel like someone's coming out of confusion. Lover's energy. Yes, guys. Someone will have made a choice, I guess. Because the lovers can be about make, having to choose, having to make a decision. Someone's choosing harmony, balance. The person that lifts them up. I'm saying that because literally the man is lifting her up on the card. Two cards flying out. Ace of Pentacles. Yes. That's that new offer. A stable offer. Move in with me, marry me, go into business with me for some of you guys, okay? And we have the Page of Cups. This is someone who, I feel like somebody expressed their feelings, guys. Somebody, there could have been a letter, okay? Or a, a conversation. This could have come through music as well, a song. Literally, I feel like there's gonna be someone who probably sends you a song and you're gonna know that they are serious about you when they send you this particular song. Show me the house energy spirit. All of that came out and hit the house card, so I think that's really cool. The King of Swords, Aquarian energy, again, Libra or Gemini. This person could be a public speaker, a teacher of some sort, okay? King of Swords energy, a lawyer, the military, or they could just be a very structured person. If they're not structured, this is more about how they are when they come to emotions. They are not mostly guided by their emotions. They're mostly guided by logic, reason, fact, okay? But this person is going to be the one who's offering this cup of love, guys. I also feel like someone had a spiritual awakening with the Ace of Cups. Let's see some more. Show me more about the house before I move on to the cross. More about the house before I move on to the cross. Five of Cups. I feel like this person who's offering you this, they may have experienced something. They, they may have seen. Okay, it's possible that they could have experienced a loss. I'm just going to say it like that. It could be material or emotional the sun card, but I feel like they could feel that you make them happy. They could have literally felt like they lost you at one point in time. So remember, I did tell some of you guys that this could be a past connection coming back up to be, you know, explored again. It's new though. It's new though. The cross. Show me the cross energy. Give it to a straight no chaser spirit. We got the will of fortune. Something is changing, guys. We got the will of fortune and we have the six of pen the ten of pentacles, but in reverse. So I feel like, now, when I was pulling this card, this did flip over in the reverse in my hands, okay? So I don't know if this is supposed to be that way, so I'll read both understandings. I'm going to start with the reversal first, though, since that's how it is. It's possible that somebody could have taken a risk on something, and it's like it may not pan out to be all that they were hoping, okay? In the upright, it could be that someone takes... Someone, someone's fate changes or someone's abundance changes and the risk that they take yields them just like so much abundance in everyday life, in everyday things, in the things that are tangible, the person actually being by you, the home, the car, the land, the job that you want, all of that being in alignment with who you are and what you truly desire. If it's in the reverse, it's possible that someone could steal something from you Okay, or someone could feel like something was stolen. So let's just say if someone dies abruptly after you guys come into union with each other, it's possible that you could feel like, oh my fucking God, like this was so beautiful, but it was so short-lived. It was stolen from me. It's possible, guys. So let's see. <clears throat> we have the tower showing itself first, and then we have the seven of swords. So there could be some form of deception here. And remember how I was telling some of you guys that I feel like this could be the energy of the person who you might have to leave behind. It's possible that this person could feel so upset because they're like, oh my God, I thought this was going to be my change, but, and I've invested so much in you. And instead I didn't get what I wanted. So someone could feel like they got tricked. They got hijacked. They got stolen from. 
Someone could also feel like you're lying to them. I feel like this is gonna be the male in the connection. Cause there's gonna be, an, I think there are two males that a woman's gonna have to choose from. One of the males are gonna feel as though someone was sneaky, they were lying, they were deceptive the whole entire time. Even though guys, I have to admit that wasn't the truth, okay? At the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the four of cups. Someone could have been, you know, just emotionally, they could have felt like something was still missing. I'm gonna put that down. Show me more about the cross before I move forward, spirit. We have the two of cups. Like, this was a soulmate connection maybe that had to end. And or something is having to end because there is a partnership where it's more in alignment with this with you, Leo. It's more in alignment with you. It's for your highest good. At the bottom of the deck, we have the moon. So we're back at kind of where we started. I'm going to stop here. I hope and pray that something resonated with you guys. Guys, this is beautiful energy. The moon deals with the sign of Cancer, Scorpio, and or Pisces. So I feel like heavy water sign energy here. But guys, uh, bare minimum, if you don't take away anything else, I feel like true commitment is coming in. I feel like for those who are in a partner with their two parties, and you're going to have to choose, go with the person whom their whole everything matches more with you and who you truly are at your core. Not if you had to change yourself, not if you had to humble, quote unquote, yourself or alter yourself. But this person who truly speaks to who you are, you get to shine in all of your glory and not feel bad for it. This is the vibe I feel like this other person, this new person or the resurgence of someone is going to bring. You're not going to have to be apologetic for your goddesshood. You're just not. You're not going to have to walk on eggshells to make another person feel okay about themselves. You're not going to have to give up this uh, one part of yourself in order to have security and stability. No, you get to have it all. So whoever makes you feel like you can have it all, this is, I believe, the one that you're supposed to be with. But as with all things, trust your intuition and trust spirit. Love you. Peace, love, light, and darkness, which works together to bring balance and harmony. Okay? First within ourselves and then within our world. I love you, Leos. I love you. I love you. Because I love me, right? <laughs> All right. Bye.